how to stay in the backside longer. Not every athlete needs to have a longer stride. Longer stride is not necessarily better. I'll go ahead and link a video down below. Essentially, the bullet points are stride out as long as you can hold the hinge while still being able to rotate effectively from that position. So if you overstride, uh, you'll lose the ability to rotate out of that position. If you've identified that you fall in that category where you're trying to stay in the backside longer, potentially lengthen out the stride uh, just a little bit for you, then that's who this video is for. First, your body needs to have the ability to actually stay in your backside longer. One of the most common culprits for when guys have shorter strides or, or can't hold the backside long is actually tight adductors. From an adductor uh, tissue quality standpoint, that would kind of be the first thing that you, you might experiment with. This is a simple way to do this, set up a barbell about waist tight in the rack, kind of lay the, the rear leg adductor over that. Uh, typically it's that top third of the adductor, adductor magnus tissue fibers, where a lot of that density and tenderness will be. Three to five minutes on this spot, a couple times a week can do wonders. You're going to want to do some sort of isometric activation for the adductors in that length and position. This is a floor squeeze exercise. So unlock the knees, slight knee bend, get out to about a stride length or a little bit wider and try to squeeze the floor together. A few reps of 10 to 15 second holds per set. You can do a few sets of this a couple times a week. So this is the sliding hinge drill. I've posted this before. You either can have a slider uh, under that lead foot or you can do this with uh, your front shoe off in socks. But again, we're just sliding uh, with the front foot. You're going to guide your center mass down the mound trying to hold the backside, hold the head back, stay stacked with the trunk. Corey's demonstrating it one way, but it's gonna look a little bit different depending on your specific hip structure. This is a Clevenger, Mike Clevenger kettlebell hinge drill. So 15 to 25 pound kettlebell, front rack position held over the backside. Go through your leg lift, kind of drop with some tempo, drop aggressively into the backside. And again, you're really just working on dropping into the hinge and riding out the linear move. You're not working on the actual unload of the rotation or the throw or anything that, like that. This can again, condition that the back leg, condition the backside to support dropping into the back leg. Step backs, we've posted about them a bunch before, but again, it's a good option for those of you who need to stay in your backside longer. The step back into the backside can really help you engage laterally with the ground. So as you're able to go through your normal leg lift, you can really feel that reversal of uh, energy, that reversal of direction, and feel the ground push back into you in more of a lateral sense when you go through the step back. You can modify this by the addition of a band. I'll go ahead and link a video down below for you guys if you wanna learn more about this particular band setup, but essentially the band is feeding the flaw. It's trying to pull you forward and open the pelvis early. In feeding the flaw, what your body has to learn to do is to not allow the band to open you early. So you're going to actually stay in your lower half longer. You're going to keep the pelvis closed longer to lay that rotation longer as a response to the band trying to open you up early. And then this would be a hop back drill. So a similar idea to the step back drill, just adding a little bit of tempo to the overall movement, a little bit more of a dynamic variation, a little bit more reactive where you don't have time to really think about what's going on. A lot of guys that I see that come out of their lower half early could benefit from the cue stay sideways just to, you know, give them a simple visual of riding the backside just a hair longer down the mound. Hopefully you guys got some value out of that. Again, just some things to try. Go ahead, drop a comment down below if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video.